one is Chrissy and Dr. Dukes Duck on here, and today is our last day of shooting stuff for this episode of PBS Kids, yep. as well as travel home day. So I'm very excited just to hug my cat. I'm so excited to hug Domino. It's the Capitol back there. It's we the just Capitol. shot at the Capitol. Oh, yeah, the Capitol. We're going to shoot at the Washington sadly. Monument for a minute. Yeah. And a couple of other things, and then we're going to go eat a milkshake. Yeah. And maybe drink one. Or maybe. Depending on your preference. <laughs> okay, we're going to go shoot a little bit, and we'll show you kind of what we're shooting. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. So we just finished shooting for PBS Kids Digital, and I'm really, really excited because now it's time to celebrate, and then we're gonna head home and be able to see our pets again, and I'll be able to sleep in my own bed tonight. So before we're going to um, the airport to fly home, we're gonna have a nice meal at the Hamilton, which is so, so, so good, and we had a great time last time. Um, so we're kind of wrapping up our trip, which was sort of all Hamilton themed, um, by eating at the Hamilton yet again. And this time I get to have a milkshake. I couldn't have a milkshake last time because I hadn't finished filming yet. Um, but this time I actually get to have a milkshake, which I am very, very excited about. So it's going to be a nice lunch to wrap up our trip to Washington, D.C. Or how's your dessert? Good. What are you eating? Like last time, Zach. Chocolate ice cream. Okay, so behind me is the White House, which is really, really cool. Um, we don't have a permit to film here for PBS Kids. Um, but we do have some like stock photos and stuff that we're allowed to use, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's really nice just to kind of be here in front of the actual White House, which is where the current president lives, as well as our future president will also live, which is really, really cool. Um, as well as Charles Trippi is actually here too. Um, and I think you two brought us both here at around the same time, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it just seems really cool um, to be able to actually be here at the White House. Um, which is something that I didn't really consider until like we actually kind of stood here in front of it Like I didn't really consider that we would be in front of the actual White House, but we actually are so okay, So we're in the same yeah, we're in the same park same. with the uh, Lawrence statue yes. that Presley loves so much and the Lafayette statue and the Lafayette statue And so there's this Andrew Jackson statue So I was just telling Presley that like the I mean I grew up in Tennessee and there's lots of Civil War battlefields around there like Shiloh You've been to Shiloh a few times yes. and so <laughs> I was telling her about the when you've got a mounted rider like that, that the way that the horse's hooves are positioned to mean something. Like, so both hooves up in the air means that the rider died in battle. Mm -hmm. One hoof in the air means that the rider was wounded in battle, in battle and maybe died from the wounds. Mm -hmm. And all four hooves down mean they didn't, they didn't die in battle. Um, but so we looked it up real quick, and I guess that's an urban legend, that that's not actually true. And I know that's Andrew Jackson with, on a horse with, Two hopes up, and I'm pretty sure Andrew Jackson didn't die in battle. So that, that would sort of There's blow part of, of that theory as well. Too. The birds do tend to like his hat, apparently. Yeah. And it's worth his head. Um, okay. But yeah, I always thought that was really neat, and like it was like a secret code in the statues and stuff around the battlefields. But it said it's kind of Civil War, more Civil War battlefields, at Gettysburg and stuff like that. But uh, apparently that's not even true. That's kind of weird, huh? So I thought I was like sharing this cool secret knowledge with Presley about these statues, but it turns out to totally be untrue the whole time. That's kind of crazy. It is a nice statue, though. So we're in the airport and headed home, so you know what that means. Travel, travel montage. montage! Cooper, can you say travel montage? Travel montage. We're boarding the plane. We're not on it. I wish we were. Um, but we're on our way to board the plane, which I'm really, really excited about. It just feels weird that in like three hours I'll be home with my cat and my dog. And I mean, it's probably closer to four. Yeah, well, three hours I'll be on the ground. Hopefully. That's right. We'll be back in Denver at least. <laughs> and then tonight, you'll sleep in your own bed. And I'll hug my dog. You can see Donald. I'm excited. Right. Um, yeah, uh, I have some stuff on my laptop now. Yeah. Because last time I had a laptop at 2% charge, and I'm like, I can't use this. <laughs> now it's at like 98% charge. So, so how cool was it that YouTube brought both you and Char to 
DC at the same time. It's just amazing. It's White such House. an odd coincidence. It's such yeah. a cool one. Yeah, I know. We'll have to hopefully we'll run into him at VidCon or at near Terrier or something. Uh, we can talk to him about both of you being here at the same time <laughs> because of YouTube. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, that was so lovely. This awesome. backpack is so much heavier. So we think, uh, we're not sure, but we think the PBS Kids video is going to go live on Thursday, yeah. soft launch, Friday, official launch. There's a chance they may push it back one week. Um, but we'll let you guys know as soon as you can go check it out on the website. But uh, stay tuned and we'll let you know when you can go to the pbskids.org slash you choose. you choose and see the videos. We'll be back in just a minute. subscribe if you want to keep up with more of our channel tra travel adventures and now that you're home you can see kind of the, some of the stuff that we're up to now that we're here so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye